Hello, this is Sam from Sound on Sound magazine. I'm at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California, except I'm not quite at the NAMM show. I'm in a secret bunker somewhere near the NAMM show in Anaheim, California. It's a bunker that belongs to Nate from Cali Audio. Sure. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, excellent. So you've, you've rented out this top secret space to show sure. some top secret new products. So. Yeah, not top secret anymore. Oh, um, cool. So yeah, we've got two products that we're announcing here. Um, the first thing is our Project Santa Monica. Um, so SM series. And Project Santa Monica is sort of the answer. We get asked a lot with the IN8. Speaker's fantastic. It's $399, should be twice as much. If this is what you can build for $400, what can you do for $1,000? The Santa Monica series answers that question. Um, so whereas the IN series is built for a price point, that same coincident architecture, the woofer and then the coaxial mid-range and tweeter, is put into the Santa Monica series. And basically, any time where there's an opportunity to improve those components, we've looked, searched that out and gone for that. So the woofer has uh, flux stabilization, um, which helps keep the magnetic flux much cleaner, which brings distortion way, way down. Same thing on the mid-range. The tweeter is an aluminum dome tweeter with some really special geometry to remove some uh, ultrasonic resonances. And what that does is even though it's a metal dome, you have a very smooth high frequency response. It's never harsh, it's never grating, it's never sort of that ultra sizzly that you might be used to on a metal dome tweeter. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of improvements in terms of the manufacture of the cabinet. Um, you'll notice there's zero diffraction between the edge of the mid-range all the way around to the edge of the baffle. And that just gives you better on-axis response, better in-room response, again, uh, smoother high frequency so that you can really mix with ultra confidence. Amazing. So these are two-way monitors, yeah? These are three-way monitors. Three -way so it's a woofer, mid-range tweeter. Okay, yeah. incredible. But in case that didn't, doesn't deliver you quite enough bass, you've also got a, a subwoofer. Yeah, so we've got a brand new subwoofer. So the WS12 has been our 12-inch subwoofer. It's huge. Um, but for under $1,000, it's pretty much the most powerful studio subwoofer you can find. Um, now we have a smaller version, which is the WS6.2. It's two horizontally opposed 6.5-inch woofers. And that has a couple things for you. Those 6.5-inch woofers give you about as much output as you would get with a comparable 10-inch. So this, the subwoofer itself is about half as large as comparable subwoofers in terms of performance. It also means that because they're horizontally posed, there's no net vibration. So the subwoofer doesn't scoot, it doesn't buzz the floor, uh, it's not vibrating back and forth all over the place. Um, so it's just a quality of life thing. This can go almost under almost any desk, it's very compact. Um, you get all the sub that you need, um, really perfect for any stereo pair of near field monitors. Um, and you don't have any of those issues that sometimes you get with a subwoofer. And this would this matches equally well with any of your any of the monitors in your range. Our LP series, our IN series, the SM series, and really any any top boxes you're going to use. So if you're using KRKs or Yamahas or Focals, whatever it is, if it's a near field monitor, this is really made for that in a stereo setting. So how soon are these new products going to be available? Very soon, uh, in the next month or two. And what's, what's the exact price point? Now? So on the passive monitors, I will point out these are passive. Oh, okay. Um, so we're specking these with LEA amplifiers. Um, you can find all that information on our website. Um, so those are $9.99 each. And then the amplification will run about $700 each, depending on your configuration. Uh, the WS6.2 is $4.99. So what was the thinking behind making these uh, passive monitors? Um, there's still a market for a passive monitor. Um, there's plenty of people who they don't want to run power, especially in an immersive environment where you have to run power into 12 different places. People who prefer to have all their amplification living on one rack, maybe outside of the room. Um, there's thermal reasons for that. There's reliability reasons for that. Um, the LE amp amplifiers are absolutely dynamite. Um, so it allows for some better configurability, it allows for some upgradability that you don't necessarily get with a powered speaker. Um, and you can insert them in places where you can't necessarily put a powered monitor for some of those reasons as well. You don't have to run power, you don't have to run, worry about thermal issues with a passive monitor. But there's no special matching between amplifier and speaker. You could use these speakers with any... You can use them with any amplifier. Um, we're recommending the LE amp amplifiers for reliability, availability, and price point. They hit all those really, really well. And we have tuning files for the LEA amplifiers that are readily available. So if you're using another amplifier, you need to build that tuning yourself. If you're using an LEA amplifier, it's literally a click one button, load that into the amp. It's going to take you less than two minutes, and you're ready to go. Interesting. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing a pair of these land in our review uh, yeah, in trade. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, thanks so much, Nate. Great thanks so much for your you. time. Yeah, good, good to see you. Thank you.